Greetings, folks. We made it to Chicago. We're going to see the Cubs play the Pirates tonight. It's going to be incredibly exciting. We're going to go kiss Harry Carey's statue. Robert, uh, are you excited about the game today? Very excited. I love yes. Wrigley Field. It's an awesome place. Very historic fireman. Yes, it's been here since 1882. Abe Lincoln built Wrigley Field. Almost accurate. Uh, wrong on multiple counts, but, you know, that happens sometimes when you get old. Like this ballpark right here. <laughs> so this is the place we're staying in in Chicago, right across the street from Wrigley Field. And Robert has demanded that every door he stays in is about four to eh, four to feet off the ground. He wants to practice his jumping skills for the basketball series. Yeah, my this high is jump. true, right, Robert? Yeah, working on my high jumps. So. Your vertical leap has greatly improved. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. There's some cast members from the Amazing Race over here in front of the Ernie Banks statue. Um, Robert, uh, you know, a lot of Ernie's uh, friends, they called him Ernest. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy to say I was one of those individuals. Uh, your thoughts on Ernest Banks? Well, I wasn't uh, close enough to him to call him Ernest. Uh, I just called him Ernie, like, you know, the regular, normal. Uh, like were, the peons. You were kind of close to him, so you called yes. him Ernest. Ernest Banks, a wonderful, wonderful cub. He was Mr. Cub. You know, everyone in the ballpark is really looking forward to your rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game tonight. Carrie Carey will be so proud. You have the voice of an angel, Robert. Never forget that. Thank you. His voice pattern would be the same as mine. That gentleman over there with the helmet on, he's very precautious. He wants to make sure he does not get hit with a ball. Robert, and uh, I can't say I blame him. You no, know? very smart man. Very smart. I've thought about wearing that to softball a few times and playing the field. You should. We'd call you a helmet guy. So back here at Wrigley Field, the Pirates are taking BP. And I'm wondering, once again, after being at Fenway the other night, what is behind the ivy? What is behind those mysterious doors in the outfield? Uh, Robert, uh, what do you think? Well, I do have an idea. That's a secret, I can't tell you. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this guy. Th this mascot down here, Robert, he really has got the moves, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I think that's Kyle Schwarber in that outfit. Look at it. it says on his jersey. You know, the rigors of a long season can really take its toll, Robert. You know that? You gotta let loose somehow.
doing here? Another big monument in Chicago is the very famous Bean. This is basically every narcissist dream to have one of these in their home. Robert, would you come in here for a second, my friend? Sure. You have three of these in your backyard, don't you? Yeah, they're only about half the size of this. Either. Yes, yes. I mean, he's a very beautiful man, ladies and gentlemen. He's got to, he's got to check his his waving long. He's got wavy long hair. He, Hide it he, under the hat. There's our reflection, Robert. You're looking well, my friend. Ah. Oh, you look you look great. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this bean mirror is a. Uh, it makes you look thinner, right? It makes you look a little thinner. Yeah. Um, this was uh, this was designed uh, somewhere around what about uh, uh, 1900, right? No, I think it was actually 1742. 1742. Uh, Brought, brought to us uh, by the Ethiopians as a gift for introducing them to uh, hot dogs, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's right. lovely. It really is. Robert, we're in the Willis Tower, the, yes. the biggest structure in Chicago. Uh, this is a magnificent structure. Uh, I'm going to race you to the top, buddy. Okay. It's like 3,000 stories. That's it. i got to go. Welcome to the Sky Deck. You're on your way to the top of the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Along the way, you can watch as we pass by some of the tallest buildings, monuments, and structures in the world. You're riding up this 1,450-foot modern marble in one of the tower's 104 elevator cars. Your trip to the Sky Deck will only take about a minute. That means your elevator is traveling at a speed of more than 24 feet per second. The tower opened its doors in 1973 and held the title of the world's tallest building for 25 years. The west antenna reaches 1,730 feet above the Chicago streets. We're now passing 850 feet in San Francisco's Transamerica Pyramid, 970 feet in the Yokohama Landmark Tower, Japan's tallest building, 1,062 feet in Paris's stunning Art Tower, the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong, 1,250 feet in the Empire State Building in New York. And now we're here, 103 stories up. Welcome to the top. Right. <laughs> yeah, Robert, Robert, I thought we were going to pass God there for a minute. It's another three floors. 103 stories above the ground. Robert, uh, do you have any uh, thoughts at the moment besides puking? Well, I see some softball fields down there. We should go play down there. Yeah, look at that. Robert, uh, we're on top of the observation deck here. Um, how much weight do you think that holds? Uh, I'd say at least a good, you know, 350 pounds. This reminds me of the time I skydive off the Taj Mahal. Very exciting. So there's one last thing I need to do here in Chicago. One of my sports idols coached here for many years for the Chicago Bears. I adopted my softball coaching style from this man. And I'm, I'm speaking, of course, of the great Mike Ditka. Oh, and now I'm going to his restaurant. Ah, uh, shut up. Good night, Fireballites. That's what I call you guys, Fireballites. Keep being Fireballite.
I told you I was going to do it, Robert. Holy God.